Hey guys, so it's the beginning of the total solar eclipse weekend. I just came from Twin Falls, Idaho. It's an awesome place. I, I in fact went to high school there. I moved so many times. I'm not really from anywhere. By the time I was 14 years old, I had moved 27 times. And so I'm not from Twin Falls, but my high school years really influenced me. And so I love the place, but we are split up. Brendan and I for the Photog Adventure of the Total Solar Eclipse are completely split up. So I'm out here heading up to Idaho. Well, I'm in Idaho heading up to Boise area, going past it towards Donnelly and Crouch. Brendan's gonna go straight up I-15, go up into Idaho Falls. So we're in two different places for the solar eclipse. So we're gonna cut back and forth, back and forth between my version of the Photog Adventure of the Total Solar Eclipse and Brendan's Photog Adventure of the Total Solar Eclipse. So it's gonna be kind of fun, unique, and we'll see how you guys like it. The slow day, the calm, and the night will unfold. I never thought that I would be traveling this road. Hey guys, so it's day two now. I'm here at Brent Huntley's parents' place. So they've been nice enough to let me stay with them here. I can have a nice sleeping situation. It was very, very, a lot more comfortable than sleeping in that last night. So I loved it, loved being there. I want you to notice what's behind me and above me. You see all of this? Look at the cloud cover. You can see right here is the sun. And if the sun was behind those kind of clouds, it wouldn't really ruin the solar eclipse. <sighs> yeah, it's gonna ruin the solar eclipse probably. I, I shouldn't even say it won't because I mean, if this kind of cloud cover was here tomorrow, I'll be panicking. I'll be driving as far as I possibly can to get away from this nonsense. So I got Brent Huntley and I, we're here in Donnelly and we're gonna head up that direction. I wish that I could tell you how much I really Your harmless desire at the tip of your tongue All of your cruises and all of your fun Tell me are you still in here As beautiful as you are You just don't know by far In this world So after our debacle with the tires, we came out here and we're trying to enjoy a little bit of a sunset. We got some golden hour right now and we're gonna take advantage of that golden hour and make this work out awesome. 
but it's not gonna work for a great sunset because the sun you can see right up there, it's gonna set behind those mountains. Let's see. Let's get it so that you can see that sun. That sun way up there, it's gonna go behind those mountains and cause a whole different view for what I'm really looking for. So it's not gonna be great, but let's enjoy what we can of the golden hour. In this world I be right by your side with arms Even if you don't want You wrote your name in my You ready to go to the eclipse? Oh yeah. That was some good enthusiasm. You guys mind if we park by you? Depends, you got any goodies? Well, I could give you a cliff bar, how about that? <laughs> so here we are, we're at a spot that we think we like. I mean, look at this terrain. We're dealing with our cars right down there and there's tons of people in that spot. I think I'm going to recompose every shot so I can do a wide angle and a telephoto and blend them the best I can. Today, here are the glasses that Brent's using. His glasses have an orange tint when you look at the sun. It's, oh wow, it's chopped out a little bit. Here, here's your glasses. It is awesome and I have a welder's mask. <laughs> oh man, welder's mask is not blocking it as much. The other option that I have are these glasses, these Eclipse glasses, they're ISO certified for 12312-2, which means I won't be blinded, maybe. I wonder how Brendan's doing. This is our setup. We found a nice big praying mantis. He, he was like, it, it. Oh, he wants to jump. I don't want to touch, I don't want him to touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough mantis action. So we've got a telescope set up here as not a telescope, but as a prop for my phone. So my phone is aiming, as you can see here, at the sun. The sun is actually moving across the sky in the frame of the phone. So I'm pretty excited about that. I got that set up just right. So um, gaffer tape is holding the phone. I uh, got a plate of glass over, uh, welder's, welder's glass over the phone, so that's why the sun looks green inside there, and it's uh, moving slowly across my frame, so hopefully it stays there. I've got my camera set up over there, way over there. Uh, Dan's got his camera set up here. Have you, has he started it yet? No. Nope. He's going to do a time lapse. He's waiting for some shadows to form. So we've got a piece of welder's glass we can look right at the sun with, which is actually more clear than the, uh, than the film on the solar glasses so that's pretty cool it worked pretty well through those though but we had to hold it out just a hair from the phone yeah, yeah when we put it right up against the lens it got too crinkly and too crazy although it looked kind of cool like a sun flare 
You know, that's exactly what the picture looked like in photo pills. It's like a really hungry Pac-Man. I can actually pull my phone up to the light of that sun without a problem. It is so dark out here. The temperature, the temperature is bizarre. Oh, it's like nighttime coming, girls. Look, look. No, over here, look. Can you see the shadow coming? Look. Oh, it is coming up. It is actually coming up. I can see it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at how dark this is getting. Oh, I'm taking my glasses off. It is dark outside. It is dark. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. Oh my gods. Okay, camera coming on. Oh, here it comes. Wow. Okay. I'm panning up a little. Wow. Wow, wow. Whoa, it's like nighttime coming. Look. Wow, you can see the lights over there. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, this is super trippy. Oh, man. Wow. It's gone, you can look. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Holy cow, that is awesome. Wow. Holy cow, look how sweet that is. Oh, my gosh. So, Corona is up there. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but that is amazing. Oh, this is incredible. It's like having sunset all the way around you. Look at that. It's like sunset all the way around. It's so trippy. And that Corona is unreal. Oh, wow. I'm going to go look at the, I'm going to look at the iPhone and see what it looks like with the iPhone strapped to the front of the, to the front of the telescope. Oh, it's all just dark. I don't know if it's in frame. That's weird. I don't know if it's gonna be able to see it or not. So anyways, that is way cool. That is really, really cool. That is amazing. Wow. The drone's up there. There's the drone up there, hanging out. We got it. We got it in the frame, <laughs> the footage. So that is just awesome. I mean, oh, it's starting to it's starting to move now. You're seeing a little bit of. Oh, here it comes. Wow. Oh, wow. Glasses on. Yep. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. That is unreal. Wow, that Corona was just unbelievably awesome. I've got so many stickers on my foot right now, on my feet. Wow, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, so sun's coming back now. We can see the shade is, shade's moving. It's starting to get lighter. That was unreal. Oh, when did I bump that? I stopped showing it. I don't know when I stopped recording, guys. I'm sorry, but it is coming back. The point of coming back. Oh, and it's over. Anymore. It's over. Where's my glasses? What's it look like up there? It's just barely over it. Ah, oh, it's just barely over it. I was in this position, as you saw, talking and setting up my camera. And I don't know if I bumped this stop button or what but this stupid thing wouldn't lock and just keep recording i wanted it to record the whole time when i'm doing this and this but nothing <sighs> it just what i do have thankful i have it and i could not get it to work with the camera here so you can check out right here you can see how the sun's taking up all that space in my frame and when it was in corona it was really black and i can't see anything i couldn't get the right setting to make that show up I was bracketing and then the bracketing it finally started showing this one when it came across and came open and there's some really nifty looking shots it is just crazy noisy as traffic's coming out but maybe Brandon got a nicer shot what did you get show it over here <laughs> ah, look at this you got it man you have a shot of the actual eclipse yeah i'm pretty stoked about that so I haven't a shot like that on my camera. I have an interesting shot of when it came and bled out with all the extra light, but just the 
thing that I didn't expect to feel was how cold it was and how chilly it was. Listen to this podcast audio of us talking about that crazy experience. The, the thing you don't expect is how cold it gets. It's August. It was warm. I was sweating. I was using a sweat rag to keep myself from being too sweaty. And then I still have chills on my arm and not from the experience, but from the friggin' cold. Yeah, it got freezing. It's still cold out, but man, it probably dropped a good 20 to 30 degrees. We just couldn't believe how cold it was and that sensation, the eeriness of the darkness and the eeriness of how the colors changed a little bit. People say how it's eerie and you don't know really what it would be. And I, I really don't even know how to explain it. So it's a much different feeling, an eerier feeling and a color difference. And ah, it's just... You have to experience it for yourself of totality. You gotta make sure you're out for the 2024. We will do a Photog Adventure listener adventure for that because you guys can't miss it. It's like the fire fall in Yosemite next February. You can't miss it. Milky Way core is going to go over the top of it this yeah, way. Yeah, so it'll come from the, it'll come right from the tree. Look at that tree overarching that rock right there. Okay.